Hey guys, Sam Luce here. Thanks for checking the video out. Now, I just got an email from DistroKid and they told me they've got a brand new mastering platform. And when I say I just got an email, I mean, like, it just came through just this moment. So I flicked on the camera, flicked up the mic. Let's see what it can do. Now you just, I, well, I followed the link in the uh, in the email, but you can go on to distrokid.com and you can check out this mastering. This is a uh, mix EA, so you can see here how I've got my my mastered track and my original track. It's dead easy to do. You just upload it, upload a track from your downloads folder, whatever it is you store your music, and upload it, and it will do some jiggery pokery, some weird magic, and it will master your track for you. Uh, but I want to see exactly what it does, exactly how it sounds, exactly how it compares to stuff that we can do ourselves and generally give it a bit of a listen. So let's check it out. So here's my original track. Chilled. Mastered. Original. Back to mastered. Okay, it's definitely louder. It's got a bit more weight in the bottom end and it's got a little more kind of sparkle, crisply highs. Um, but let's see what we can do. So we've got two faders here, intensity, high and low, EQ options, brighter or warmer. Hmm. Let's see what we can do then. So let's take a listen to it and then let's bring this up to warmer because it sounds crispy, but it's perhaps a little too crispy at the moment. So let's play it now it's warmer. I wonder if these are real time. Yes, they are. Okay. Let's go high intensity. Crushed. Okay, so it seems like intensity is kind of how loud it is, and then the EQ options, brighter or warmer, you should probably know what that's doing. Um, so on warmer, I think that kind of fitted this track a bit better. If it was in the middle, then it was a little too kind of crispy. Uh, bringing it over to the warmer side, just a touch, improved it to my ear. I think that sort of made it a bit more, more leveled out. Um, let's go fully warm and see what this is like. Compared to much brighter. Crispy, crispy. Centered. Yeah, I think it works there. So I'm going to download this mastered track, bring it back into Logic Pro and see what they've done to it. Okay, here we are in Logic Pro and we're going to compare these two. So the first one at the top is the original and then this is the beat that they've mastered for me. Let's just flick back and forth between the two. Just keep in mind that I've gain matched these. So the original is at Unity. I've not added or taken anything away. And the uh, the kind of mastered in inverted commas one is at minus seven point something. So there's a fair amount of level being added. Let's go back and forth and listen to the difference and then let's see if we can do better or kind of try and match what they've done. Okay, hmm. it's brighter, it's crispier, and it's louder. I feel like they've taken away some of the bottom end. I feel like that's kind of been crushed a little bit. Whether that's as a result of that loudness, I'm not entirely sure. Listen to the original, and although in relative terms it's quieter, you won't hear it quieter because I've game matched, but there's a bit more bottom end, a little bit more warmth, a little more to it. Take a listen. but I kind of feel like the top end on that is overtaking that low end. The bottom end sounds a little more solid potentially. Um, is it better? I don't know. So the pricing for this is $99 a year. So keep that in mind when you're listening to this because it's a subscription service. Presumably you can do all the ones that you want from that. Interestingly though, um, when I downloaded this, it was kind of the, the middle of the options. It wasn't an MP3, but it wasn't the highest quality. This was exported in 44.1, 24-bit. And for me to get the highest quality, it would have been 48K at 24-bit, which is weird. But the mid-range quality, which is the one I went for, is 44.1 and 16-bit. So they've dithered it but they've 
if I was to get the full quality one, they would have upsampled it. I don't really understand why I can't download something in the original quality I upload it in, but who, who am I to judge? So $99. If you bear in mind that you can get the perpetual license for something like Ozone Advanced from Isotope for $249, and that's not a yearly thing, then after two and a half years, you can master you know everything you want essentially for free in terms of what you would have been paying the distro kid. So it's something to bear in mind, but because we're on the subject of ozone, let's see if we can create something a bit more pleasing with ozone. Now I'm just going to go in and go to ozone 10 and I'm actually just going to hit master assistant because for the most part, it does a really great job. I actually really enjoy what it does to the track. So I'm just going to go into master assistant, I'm going to mute that one. I don't need to, but I just want to, and then I'm going to play it and see what it does. Okay, so I've gone through that Master Assistant now. What I'm not going to do is open Ozone. I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to trust what it's done and kind of say, all right, that is my setting and this is how it sounds. Now, you can do a load of settings. You can change stuff. You can tell it that you want it to sound like pop, hip hop, whatever you want. Um, but in the same way as we could for the uh, Mix EA as well. I've done a little bit of that in Mix EA. I made it so that it wasn't too intense and so that it wasn't quite as bright. It was a little bit bit duller, um, but it was still pretty pretty crispy, still a lot of top end. So I'm actually just going to say, okay, that's exactly how it sounds. Let's see what the differences are. I've not told Ozone anything about my track. It's intelligent enough to kind of know what sort of genre it is and how, in inverted commas, it should sound. So let's take a listen to the two and see the difference. So again, I've level matched these so that they should be around the same. Uh, obviously, they're going to be uh, pretty similar now because they've both got kind of limiting applied to them. Let's take a listen to Mix EA first, and then we'll take a listen to Ozone. Okay, so I've level matched those, but I feel like, well, I say I've level matched them. I still feel like Ozone is a little bit louder. Let's just test that theory. I've taken it down a touch. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like it's a frequency curve thing though, because Mix EA has, as I said, taken out a considerable amount of that warmth, that low end, that kind of chunkiness, uh, which Ozone hasn't really decided to do so much. It's kind of said, all right, that's the way it sounds. Let's just make it a little bit better. It's not actually chosen to get rid of it. And I think for that reason, it feels like it's louder. Let's take it down a touch, though, and just see if we're, see if what we think is kind of correct. So this is Ozone, then back to uh, Mix EA. Okay, so I kind of feel like the Ozone one is fairly loud and it's maybe um, a touch compressed for this track, but that's only because I haven't told it anything. I haven't told it what I want it to sound like. I haven't said like, okay, go easy on the loudness. I'm not too worried about that. I've just let it go and just let it go crazy. With Mix EA, I actually told it. I didn't want it to be too loud. I didn't want it to be too intense. Um, I could have done, I could have done another download and said, be really intense, be really loud, but then I'd have to pay that $99 and I'm not doing that. So what is the difference then? Well, Ozone, you get a lot more for your money. You get the ability to change everything. You can go in and you can do that whole Ozone thing that we all know and love um, for a higher price point, but perpetually. You can do that for the rest of the time that your computer will run it essentially. And that's kind of more valuable, I think, being able to go in and as mastering engineers or mixing engineers or just none of that labeling, just like people who are working on music, you can go in and you can really sculpt your tracks. I've always felt that these mastering things online are a little bit trying to please absolutely everyone and in the process, not really pleasing anyone fully, which you're almost going against something that you're never going to win. It's it's a it's a battle you can't win because you're never going to please everyone. So you can have those little sliders and you can say make it more intense or not as intense, whatever it is, but you're never going to be able to please absolutely everyone because in order to do that, you'd essentially need Ozone, but an online version, which would be cool, but we're, we're not quite there yet. So final thoughts. Well, I think Ozone sounds better. 
And it should really, shouldn't it? It should sound better because it costs more money, that whole thing. There's a lot more stuff gone into it. But Mix EA, if you're just trying to get a... If you're just trying to make your track louder and you're trying to add a little bit of kind of crispiness to it, let's just take off Ozone and let's just leave this where it was. So this one was at Unity, that one was at minus 7.3, wasn't it? Just to kind of level match these again and just hear the difference. And would we be satisfied if we'd paid that £99 a year to bung as many tracks as we wanted through it? Let's take a listen. So original and then mix EA. Well, it does sound better. It definitely does sound better. I think what they've done to those lows and low mids is not quite to my taste, and it's perhaps a little bright still, even though I've taken that, that brightness down. I've put it more onto the warm side, but maybe I should have gone all the way, but I'm, I'm not paying that $99. Sorry about that. So for me, it's, it's a tick. It's a win. It sounds good. More importantly, it sounds better than the original. It's got better loudness. It's got crispier highs which are not necessary to my taste and the same with the lows but does it sound better than the original yes it definitely does is it worth the price of admission mm, you tell me i'm not entirely sure i love ozone i think it's fantastic i think overall you're getting better bang for your buck but if the online thing is something you're interested in if you want to do that whole automated process and just have it do it for you for a yearly subscription why not take a look thanks a lot for watching i'll see you again soon take care